Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, now this is the part two of official or business communication, uh, which will deal with the, the minutes of meeting. As I had already told you in part one of uh, uh, this series that uh, these two terms are highly technical and are used uh, within the organization in which one uh, works. So today we are going to look at the learning objectives of uh, minutes of meeting. Uh, as usual, I will start with the origin, meaning and purpose of uh, minutes of meeting. Uh, then importance, why they are written. Uh, what are the steps involved in writing minutes of meeting? Uh, of course, this is an important point because not everyone uh, is uh, going to write the minutes. So who is that person who should write minutes? How the minutes should be written? Uh, then I'll discuss format and structure of minutes of meeting. And finally, uh, I will uh, give you a few samples so that you should be able to figure out uh, how uh, minutes of meeting are written. Right. So we are going to start with uh, the origin, meaning and purpose. So first, we will see that the name minutes is derived from the Latin phrase minuta scriptura. Minuta Scriptura, which literally means small writing. Now, this is not a minute as on the clock. Uh, this is minute from minute, means small writing or rough notes. This is what it literally means. We will see that uh, the purpose of writing minutes of meeting is actually the instant official uh, written record. Again, this is the written communication and it is official, it is highly uh, business-like. So it is the instant, now the key words are instant official written record of the meetings of an organization or group. So whenever uh, one is in uh, some organization, some company, some firm, some institution, uh, there are meetings uh, with of uh, of the employer with the employees of the boss with the subordinates and so these uh, meetings are not just a chit chat uh, they are actually some policy matters uh, the, some discussions some um, some agenda is discussed so that has to be recorded and the record uh, the record can be sent to uh, different places um, or it can be part of the archives of that um, uh, organization see so uh, sometimes it is called as just minutes as it uh, it is obvious that minutes are of meeting not of the clock uh, but full term is minutes of meeting and sometimes it is uh, abbreviated as mom means minutes of meeting uh, in some organizations it is called as protocols uh, and sometimes informally uh, it is also named as notes so uh, the of the formal name is minutes of meeting the abbreviated name of minute uh, is minutes and uh, protocols and notes these are two other names for minutes of meeting uh, we need to remember that uh, this is not a minute by minute or word for word record it's not that one has to transcribe it as uh, as it is it is uh, how the person who has to write it or he, who has to record those minutes later on when writes them, they have to be uh, somehow uh, the key points have to be written and excluding the unnecessary and irrelevant things in it. See, so only the key details, if you could see the last line, it, it, uh, these minutes, they include the key details that the team, the team means those employees or the people who are working under one uh, project or in one organization, the team will want to know. So this is how we need to remember that it's not a minute by minute or word for word record, but it includes, uh, the, these minutes include the key details that the team will want to know. Now we see that what is the importance of minutes of meeting. Uh, why they are important? Because uh, this is the record of uh, who attended the meeting and what happened in the meeting. Now these two things are uh, the most important one uh, for which the minutes of meeting are written. 
and uh, this is uh, this tells us that everything which is done within a professional environment it has uh, its importance it's not just a chit chat or a gossip it's something which is serious which is official and that's why it is recorded uh, in, uh, in in a document which is called minutes of meeting uh, sometimes uh, some people who are unable to attend uh, the meeting uh, for them it is an important source of information uh, because later on they can see that in their absence uh, what uh, agenda was discussed and uh, what were those decisions taken who attended the meeting and what was decided and then uh, all the record of that is uh, then available to the people who are uh, who were not there in the meeting uh, sometimes it happens that uh, the previous meetings are, uh, whenever the record of a meeting is there, uh, the new meeting uh, before taking uh, or before uh, holding a new meeting, what happens that usually the employers or the bosses, they get back to the previous meeting, the minutes of the previous meeting and see uh, what they had done in the previous meeting and in the light of the previous meeting, uh, then uh, they uh, formulate a an agenda which is uh, for the uh, next uh, meeting so in a way uh, it help uh, these minutes they help in looking back to reflect or think on what happened so it's a kind of an evaluation or a feedback as well for that organization well uh, every time um, one cannot uh, remind the people uh, in the same words what they had to do in an organization so there is always a reference to the minutes of meeting and from there the, the those employees or the people they are reminded uh, of the tasks which were assigned to them in the previous meeting and the timelines are also uh, noted down because uh, in, in the minutes of while writing minutes of meeting every deadline every time frame it has to be part of that so those uh, people who uh, somehow do ignore such things then they are shown those minutes of meeting as a reference and uh, then they are reminded to uh, complete their tasks within the given time frame right uh, steps there are different steps involved in recording minutes before we get into the uh, structure or format i want you to tell some things which are uh, required uh, to understand what are minutes of meeting then towards the end i will tell you the format or the structure so these there here are the steps now what steps are these you can see these are five steps one two three four five to the right of this slides uh, this present slide you will see that there are five main steps uh, number one is of course pre-planning pre-planning means that if a person who is detailed for writing a minute of meeting has to uh, definitely uh, either uh, bring some uh, equipment of recording uh, some recorder uh, or a pen pencil diary um, or uh, or you can say one person that person has to fix the place somewhere close to the boss or close to the employer so that should be um, able to listen to uh, the, the the discussions or the decisions or the uh, proceedings in a clear manner. Then we see uh, this pre-planning also includes uh, the agenda, um, the, the, the prior meeting with the boss uh, before this, uh, the actual meeting to, to meet the uh, person and ask the employer what is the agenda so that a mind uh, there, there should be mind making before coming to the actual meeting uh, there has to be some uh, preparation on behalf of uh, the meeting recorder and for that matter uh, the meeting recorder has to meet first uh, the the person who holds the meeting and discuss what is the agenda so that uh, there is some kind of idea before coming to uh, the actual session and this helps the recorder uh, to be uh, to to understand the uh, the whole proceedings in a better way right and then the second step comes of record taking record taking uh, means that when actually the person sits 
in the session in the meeting and that is the process that he does or she does then number three writing or transcribing the minutes now uh, uh, what happens is that when the meeting is over, uh, quickly one has to write or transcribe means uh, writing uh, whatever has happened in the, it, it means almost the same. The only thing is that transcribing means that when uh, some things are as it is written. So writing or transcribing the minutes, this is the third step when meeting is over, then quickly or immediately the minutes have to be written, ideally speaking, uh, within a day or two one has to uh, finish writing the minutes because then memory or or that environment is over from the mind so before that is over the recorder has to write the minutes now writing the minutes uh, can uh, be the directly writing um, uh, uh, writing by that person uh, or there is somebody a typist who is hired a, a, sten uh, a stenographer who is hired and that person uh, uh, is asked to uh, that person is dictated but the uh, but the recorder has to sit over there to dictate whatever that person has written so we see that uh, after writing there is sharing mean meeting minutes now number four step sharing meeting minutes since this is the document for everyone to read within the organization just like memo but memo um, is comparatively an informal uh, an immediate document and very short minutes of meeting are not necessarily short they are usually of uh, two pages three pages four pages depending upon the length of the meeting and of course the important points within that and finally the fifth step is going to be filing or storage of minutes for referencing in the future so after having gone through the uh, sharing process the last step has to be maintaining a record of those minutes of meeting in any archives of the organization or the place where uh, minutes are kept they can be kept in the soft form they can be kept in the hard file see so this is how these steps the five main steps have been mentioned over here now we move to the most important uh, person who is uh, chosen for writing minutes in every organization um, there is a person uh, who is responsible for uh, recording these minutes uh, writing these minutes so, so who is who that person should be what are the qualities of a minute writer so some of them uh, the most important ones there are so many qualities but i have just written a few uh, just to give you an idea that what sort of a person is required so we see that the first point is that only that person whose writing power and command over language are better uh, minutes in most of the organizations uh, in Pakistan are written in English um, but it they can be written in other languages of course um, I mean somewhere they can in Pakistan they can be written in Urdu also uh, whatever it is, uh, if a person is in Germany, would write in German or uh, according to the country. The, the most important part over here is that the person should have command over language. Whatever language the minutes have to be written, the person must have a command over language. Uh, and writing power means that should have words. Uh, you should know that they should be writing speed. Uh, they should be... Uh, the person should be very observant, should pick the words and should write down them quickly. Um, this, this step that he should or she should familiarize him or herself with the type of information to be recorded and uh, be familiar with the procedure. Uh, everybody cannot write uh, the minutes of a meeting. Only that person who is well versed in the official procedures, he knows uh, how uh, the things work uh, a person who uh, uh, beforehand does the conducts the meeting with uh, the I told you that with the employer or the boss and should know how to uh, picture the whole scenario that person uh, who has the uh, information the necessary information about the field only that person uh, is uh, given this task or should be given this task see then we, sh we should know that the person who has to write the minutes should have the mental capacity to understand. Now look at these one, two, three and four things. Subject, like what is the agenda? 
what is the context in what environment or what in what context that is taking place tone uh, and tenor tenor means mood of the meeting so this this person has to be it has to be mentally very agile agile means active uh, he should be quickly in a position to adapt him or herself to the environment that is there within the meeting sometimes some meetings are for uh, for the sake of just um, um, taking one decision sometimes there are multi uh, decision or multi dimensional meetings and so one has to be flexible the one who is writing the minutes uh, that person has to quickly um, uh, adjust him or herself according to the uh, requirement of the meeting uh, this is the most important one i believe that uh, uh, they say that the one who writes history is a person who is more powerful than what actually happens so it means that the person who writes the minutes of meeting should be unbiased the person should not have personal opinions reflected in the minutes of meeting rather the person should be objective objective means that person should not have any tilt or any uh, leanings or any favoritism towards one party or the other party he or she has to be very fair has to be objective has to be a neutral person he is just a recorder that or that he or she is not an opinion maker see so it means that the person who writes the minutes of meeting has to be unbiased having no personal opinions about the decisions or whatever goes on in the meeting and has to write them objectively and uh, since the meetings can um, spread over to uh, two or three hours uh, if they may not be just the short meetings so that person must condense must limit must restrict uh, that two to three hours meeting uh, on just four to five pages um, i mean the person does not have to keep on writing and writing and writing only the key details or the decisions that were taken in the meeting have to be uh, recorded see so this is a skill and this skill uh, uh, if you remember when we uh, were writing summary or uh, press we uh, we discussed this point so here those skills are also going to come uh, to your rescue uh, the person who writes these uh, then it means that that person should uh, have the summary and the pressy writing skills so here we see that indirectly these skills they come to help uh, the, um, the the minute writer the minutes writer okay now we get to how to write minutes now first thing you should see that uh, the, for the person who has to write the minutes has to be very active in the sense that he he or she has to take notes uh, during the meeting now those notes can be taken either in the written form i mean the diary or abbreviations can be there some short forms can be uh, generated just to uh, quickly move on to the next steps uh, or there can be some mobile recorder or there can be some other uh, recording equipment uh, but even in the uh, presence of the recording equipment sometimes uh, one still needs to use pen uh, and paper uh, where one writes the Uh, names of the secretary chairperson the attendees because the person who speaks over there does not tell the name that i am so and so and i am speaking so the one who is taking the record uh, must write these points uh, because the writing actually makes it immediately visible to you for recording uh, one has to make a lot of effort yes that's also the backup thing that you can have uh, that the that the minutes of uh, meeting writer Uh, has this backup with the person with himself so before the meeting um, this point actually i have already done that the recorder should be sure to prepare a detailed agenda a detailed agenda has to be discussed prior to the meeting actually this point should have been the first one uh, so this is a problem from my side so you should actually number 2 point should be number 1 that before the meeting the recorder should be sure to prepare a detailed agenda and then number 2 for minutes to be complete and detailed notes must be taken during the meeting one can use abbreviations or some recording equipment now this is the second point 
Now, uh, let us talk about uh, some grammar part of it. And we should see that um, a minute, uh, um, minutes have to be written in past tense. Why they are written in the past tense? It is because uh, that event has happened. That uh, meeting has been held now. Now, when one writes it, one cannot use uh, present tense or the future tense. It must be written in the past tense. And here are a few examples. You can see that uh, if one has to write that a meeting of the um, uh, Supreme Court or a meeting of the uh, secretary uh, or whatever, um, it or finance was held, was held. It's not is held or will be held. Uh, kindly have a um, have a close uh, look at the verbs over here. The following attended the meeting. Attended, not attend or at will attend. The meeting started with the recitation. The committee recommended. See, the meeting concluded. Now, this is how the verbs, they have to be in the past tense. Then we see that um, there is another grammar aspect in it that one does not have to use direct speech while writing the minutes of meeting. Uh, and an example has been given to you that uh, how one should not write. Now, example is not how to write. It is example is that you cannot write. The chairman said, inverted commas, I will look into this matter. Instead, you uh, have to see that a minutes writer has to um, uh, change it into indirect speech and would probably write like that the chairman decided or the chairman said that he would look into that matter. Now, this is how you have to present. No inverted commas, um, no direct speech. It has to be the indirect speech and the past tense that has to be there. Again, this point, again, I will uh, highlight that one has to be uh, very much objective uh, in which uh, the minutes include concrete points. Uh, there are no opinions and uh, only focus on the uh, decisions which the body or which that um, whole committee decides. One has to stick to those decisions even if those decisions are uh, not um, approved or liked by the minutes writer. Uh, that person does not have to give any opinion uh, related to that. So it has to be, uh, this whole procedure has to be objective. Writing minutes ha have to, uh, this whole procedure has to be objective. Um, now we get to the format or the structure and you will see that in the first block uh, you will find out that I have given you uh, some of the features this side and some of the features or the format uh, or st structure to the other side. So the first thing that uh, the um, minutes of meeting should have is name of the company or organization. It has to be mentioned just like in memo. Uh, we see that the name of the company or organization uh, somehow it is on the uh, on the already the letter pad is there uh, for writing minutes there is no letter pad as such there has to be a proper uh, uh, a document that has to be maintained it's not on the letter head uh, there is a proper format then date has to be mentioned then topic has to be given uh, yes attendees who are the attendees why this is important uh, it is important because in, as this uh, has to go into the record of the future, for the future. And um, it, ha it is a point of reference. This is a document of reference in the future. So those who attended, their names have to be written so that they should be in the future consulted or they should be asked whatever were the decisions made. Then of course, when attendees are there, then our absentees names are also mentioned. Number six agenda at hand uh, whatever the agenda and agenda can be one two three or only one it depends so whatever agenda is there uh, one has to make separate paragraphs short paragraphs not the longer paragraphs short paragraphs for every agenda and every agenda has a heading like just like the um, uh, there is a topic that um, uh, it is about the salaries of the employees then there is going to be now agenda number one. Uh, uh, 
that can be the subheadings now that within salaries what has to be now the point number one then point number two so with that agenda there has to be whatever uh, uh, issues are raised related to that agenda they also have to be mentioned over there and those people who raise those issues their names have to be mentioned see so that is why this is a detailed record of whatever happens whatever has happened in the meeting then we see that number eight if there are any suggestions which were given by uh, the attendees by those people the speakers names have to be written over there again for the record whatever the decisions uh, were made um, the general decisions overall regarding the agenda of the meeting they have to be written over there then uh, if people are given some tasks uh, for the future they also have to be written what tasks and to whom they have been given it also has to be mentioned um, so these meetings are not just once and for all these are basically the in organizations meetings are the uh, frequent phenomena so over here we see that the future meetings if they have to be scheduled the date and the topic uh, uh, can be written in that um, document uh, of course no document of official nature is valid until there are signatures from the uh, authorities uh, authorities can be different in different organizations somewhere it can be managing director somewhere chairperson somewhere uh, speaker somewhere uh, you can say the president somewhere it can be um, whatever the position that person has that person and the other uh, authorities they have to sign the uh, document towards the end so this makes it an official and um, authentic document without the signatures of the uh, authorities or the people the person who is the chairperson and the secretary of the meeting at that time without the signature of that that document cannot be called as a valid document see and uh, number 13 now what is appendix or appendices appendix is just that uh, list uh, or 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 any tasks that are there sometimes their uh, list is attached some attachment basically appendix means some attachment so they can be one as appendix or they can be many as appendices so it they can be attached uh, just for the record that the this 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 detail you can see in appendix a appendix b appendix c so these are basically the attachments uh, within uh, that uh, whole document uh, these days uh, these tasks is are not difficult the the format is not as such difficult some organizations provide their own format or structure there is it is already a template provided by uh, the organization or the company that one works in uh, and some uh, are also available online there are so many formats and uh, are available or templates are available uh, online um, one tends to get confused even sometimes that why there are so many but of course there are many ways of writing it uh, but these things which i have mentioned these 13 things they are usually found in every um, minutes of meeting document uh, which are uh, required to be written otherwise uh, a company or organization or institution ha can generate uh, its own uh, template its own format but these are the important parts which are to be included in that document uh, it's just uh, a summary of whatever i had already told you it's in the form of a diagram you can see that it starts from the middle um, time and date location now the, this is uh, the, again the things to include in uh, the minutes of meeting you should need to remember these the time date and location all attendees approval previous minutes action items announcements next meeting details and sign off signatures so these are the general things which are usually included in all minutes uh, writing and that's what uh, one needs to see that it is a highly technical a highly professional a highly official 
a highly formal document. Okay. Now I'll come to the samples. Uh, you don't need to get into the um, words of the of these um, uh, samples that I'm going to show you. It's they serve the purpose of just telling you uh, how there can be different templates or formats. Uh, so I will try to point out uh, if there is something different over here. But generally speaking, uh, some of them look like this. Now this is a template. It can be provided by the organization. They are always um, they can be in the form of uh, some uh, document that is already prepared. Uh, only one has to fill it in. See, so here you can see that uh, insert logo. Now these these are the online template that I have just given you the idea that online too there are many templates available. Templates means specimen. So here uh, one can insert the logo of one's organization. Then meeting agenda has to be. Uh, now written over here then meeting or project name now the space is available now this saves a lot of time of uh, the minutes writer because here only the fill in the blank activity has to be done so date of meeting time meeting facilitator or meeting facilitator means can be over here secretary who is conducting the meeting so location then meeting objective i mean that the agenda objective means the agenda uh, or the title topic of the meeting rather then attendees you see they have made columns it is even easier one two three four five and then department then their email their phone see then meeting agenda topic like there can be uh, meeting agenda can be one two three four depends see then uh, what is the time what is the owner then preparation it could be some uh, handouts during the meeting were given so you can write those see and then submitted by over here already the person who is the meeting uh, recorder can write the name so there can be many 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 formats uh, over here uh, in uh, in this regard let's get to the sample of uh, the second um, type of uh, meeting uh, minutes of meeting uh, here also don't look at the whatever the words tell you simply look at the layout and these headings um, there can be different names see here minutes for and then organizations name my company's name can be written over here then call to order call to order it, it can it it can be another name for opening or introduction um, then attendees then approval of minutes then officers reports other so there are so many different names in every organization's terms can be different but their function their purpose is the same so here we see main motions mean that whatever the decisions were taken or uh, or whatever those agendas were announced then of course uh, adjournment adjournment means that uh, close of the meeting conclusion and then of course here they have given the signature uh, place for the signature of secretary and date of approval now this is again i told you without signatures uh, no official document is valid and one thing over here is that you can see on the top right page one of one so this method of giving page numbers uh, is good because uh, instead of simply writing page one you do not know how many pages the whole document has so when you say page one out of four page one of three page one of five it means that the whole document is five pager four pager so that's even a more specific way of giving the page numbers there is another sample uh, again it's much clearer uh, you can see so it is again a template kind of a thing where company and department's name on the top has to be written then uh, meeting minutes or minutes of meeting you can write either of these uh, then date has to be mentioned okay now call to order means introduction or opening um, so it also has one two three uh, further uh, points to be written then roll call like it is another name for attendees or attendance see then approval of minutes from last meeting that's another like previous minutes record it has to be mentioned over here then open issues means the uh, agenda points what are those agendas then new business means some uh, some uh, new things or some decisions that were taken adjournment means closing or conclusion and then minutes submitted by minutes approved by so signatures over here so again look at this words can be different terms can be different 
way of putting them is different but they all have same function same uh, uh, you can say uh, the uh, the purpose that is served so terms can be different so every organization every place has its own special terms so this is how it happens well now this is a full sample uh, i have taken from uh, uh, one of the minutes of meetings uh, which were written um, by an organization i won't name the organization but you see page 1 of 4 if you could see the top uh, sorry bottom right of every page you will see that page 1 of 4 page 2 of 4 it means that it has four pages and general layout look at this in the corner they have written the minutes of second meeting of uh, B BOGs means Board of Governors held on this this date and at this time. So here uh, they have written the number of meeting, then they have written the date, they have written the time. Then they have written over here the name of the company in the middle. Then they have uh, after leaving one or two line space they have written again the minutes of the 83rd meeting of Board of Directors whatever then the uh, a bit of the introduction in this paragraph then you see board members again this is the attendees or those uh, people who were there uh, no not attendees they were the overall uh, the the designations of the people along with the names then in attendance again um, it can be attendees uh, they have not mentioned the absentees because some of them say that it is already obvious that if the people who have uh, attended their names are written those whose names are not there it means they are absent okay then they have given the numbers and then you see item number one now item number me uh, one means agenda number one and and here you can see that there is the whole agenda written that what is this agenda this is the title of that agenda and then whatever was decided in that agenda you see uh, whatever was raised the issue was raised or whatever was talked about that agenda then item number two means again agenda number two now how in bold they have written underlined it it's just like the title of any letter or any uh, important document which is always in the bold and underlined then numbering have been mentioned over here over all of the paragraphs that number two number three number four number five now here whatever was said related with that agenda so that is mentioned we go to now uh, page number three of uh, four and it, it is in continuation item number three uh, whatever that item or agenda was and what was decided uh, you might have to see that it is such a technical thing uh, that here the way the numbers have been placed and the way the uh, sub numbering has been done see main number item three then then overall uh, it's paragraph number nine and then within number three number uh, roman uh, numerals in small they have been given to give us the sub numbering within that main heading see then uh, uh, decisions taken they have written over here you can't see but i can i'm telling you that decisions taken they have also been mentioned and finally you can see that page four of four now it now we see that it is the end of this whole minutes of meeting and here item number four so overall we see that it has six items mentioned means six agenda uh, items were discussed in that meeting and uh, there are then uh, different uh, people who took the decision and then there is the ending they have not given the signatures over here for the reason that it is on uh, internet and so they have uh, um, they have not given it for the for for confidential purpose or for secrecy purpose but here there have to be either signatures uh, here or to the other side of the document can be done the signatures so this is how the actual minutes of meeting that you can see i am going to uh, show you again see these are the first two the way they look like third and fourth so this is just a, a real example that i have put over here uh, it can be written this way so probably the meeting was of three four hours but uh, how the, it has been reduced to four pages i hope that by now you people would be in a position to uh, understand let me quickly get back to the uh, let me take you to the beginning 
so that we should know yes learning objectives we are at learning objectives i hope that by now kindly have a look at all these bullet points i hope that you people have now the sufficient idea that what is the origin meaning and purpose of the meeting uh, minutes of meeting what is the importance steps who should write minutes how to write minutes what's the format or structure and a few samples some templates and one original sample that i have shared with you so i think that uh, though it is not that uh, um, easy to understand uh, minutes at this stage uh, because when you are students uh, you may not have any idea but it's not a problem at all uh, sometimes we may not do the things but we should have the idea how that uh, uh, that document it looks like how it works and when you go to that particular field then you have the idea um, already you have the idea so i am really thankful to you people for watching and listening um, so see you inshallah in some other uh, presentation uh, take care and stay blessed